Can there be anything sillier than the view of those people who boast of their foresight? They're too busily preoccupied with efforts to live better. They plan out their lives at the expense of life itself. They form their purposes with a distant future in mind. Yet the greatest waste of life lies in postponement. It robs us of each day in turn and snatches away the present by promising the future. The greatest impediment to living is expectancy, which relies on tomorrow and wastes today. You map out what is in fortune's hand, but let slip away what is in your own. What are you aiming at? What's your goal? All that is to come lies in uncertainty, so live right now. Hear the cry of the greatest of poets, who sings a salutary song as if inspired by divine utterance. Each finest day of life, for wretched mortals, is ever the first to flee. Why are you holding back, he says? Why are you slow to action? If you don't seize the day, it slips away. Even when you've seized it, it will slip away. And so you must compete with time's quickness and the speed with which you use it. And you must drink swiftly as if from a fast-moving torrent that will not always flow. This too the poet very aptly says in chastising interminable procrastination. Not each best age, but each best day. Carefree and unconcerned, even though time flies so quickly, why do you project for yourself months and years in long sequence to whatever extent your greed sees fit. The poet is speaking to you about the day, about this very day which is slipping away. So, can there be any doubt that each finest day is ever the first to flee for wretched mortals? That is, for the preoccupied? Old age takes their still childish minds unaware and they meet it unprepared and unarmed, for they've made no provisions for it. Suddenly, unsuspecting, they've stumbled upon it, without noticing that it was drawing nearer every day. Just as conversation, or reading, or some deep reflection beguiles travellers, and they find that they've reached their destination before being aware of approaching it, so with this ceaseless and extremely rapid journey of life, which we make at the same pace whether awake or sleeping, the preoccupied become aware of it only at its end.